Good morning. It is Wednesday morning, June 5th, and it is time for Morning Mercies with Pastor Big Al. I'm Pastor Big Al. And I have my Bible this morning with me. I also have a cup of coffee uh, in my uh, Jerusalem cup. Reminding us to pray for the peace of Jerusalem. We also have to uh, continue to look at our uh, kind of what we've been looking at this week. So far, we, we found Jesus going and praying all night long because he had a big decision uh, that he had to make. And so he prayed all night long. Well, we're going to keep with that uh, kind of theme uh, this week. Uh, in Mark chapter 1, verse 35 is our scripture today. Mark chapter 1. Verse 35, it says, before daybreak the next morning, Jesus got up and went out to an isolated place to pray. Now, Jesus had been um, really busy. I mean, so many people were bringing uh, their sick friends or family members to Jesus for him to heal. Uh, but Jesus, the next morning, he gets up early before daybreak. And he goes to an isolated place to pray. Now, I was looking up that word in the Greek, uh, areamos, uh, and here's what it says. Solitary, lonely, desolated, uninhabited. Used of places, it means a desert or wilderness, deserted places, lonely regions, an uncultivated region fit uh, for pasturage. And so it is a place that nothing, you're, you're not going to grow. A farmer's not going to grow anything out there. It's, it's deserted. It's wilderness. It's desert area. Uh, that's the kind of place that he went to. But I also noticed that it says this word can be used to describe people. So used for people, uh, it means deserted by others. Deprived of aid and protection of others, especially of friends, acquaintances, or kindred. Bereft. When I looked at that, I realized that, that when Jesus goes to a solitary place, uh, a isolated place, in order to get alone by himself, uh, to have a more personal prayer time with God, that is a beautiful understanding. And I think you and I need to find those isolated, solitary places where we can have the, the personal, quiet time with God. But to realize that that could also represent a person that, that Jesus goes to the deserted people, the people who are deprived of aid and protection of others, um, places, the isolated people where we can come and make a difference with. We believe that, that when Two or three come together and pray. And to think that you can find and come to those who are isolated and, and pray with them. I, I, I pray that you help us to find those as well. Guide us in all we do the rest of this week. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you guys so much for watching. I pray you all have a blessed and amazing day.